This is Haka. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about the functions and the use of three-dimensional control unit Sky 22, which we have designed for press breaks. With our Sky 22 control unit, we make the 2D and the 3D drawings of the part to be bent on a 22-inch screen and simulate the automatic bending sequences by using the tools in the memory of our control unit first and then have the actual dimensions of the part to be bent. We have a 64 GB capacity to store the programs made in our control unit. This much capacity allow us to store hundreds of programs on our control unit and use them whenever we desire. All files of world famous design programs such as SOLIDWORKS and AutoCAD with extensions like IGES, STEP and DXF can be transferred to our control unit in the easiest and fastest way. And we don't have to worry about the time loss and errors that we faced in previous manual program transfer. With the D-Band offline software support option of our machines, you can simulate all the parts to be bent remotely without leaving the comfort of your office. You can check whether the tools on our machine are suitable for bending. If you see that they are not, you can always select the tools that suit you among thousands of other options from the library. With that, you complete the design of the next part to be bent without stopping the machine and automatically transfer this program to your machine after the work is finished. As you know, the part to be bent can be SD37 sheet, galvanized sheet or stainless steel. As a result, the elongation coefficients of materials will vary. There will be different radius sizes depending on the features of the punch and the V-channel clearance of the tools we will use. In our Sky 22 control unit, all these errors will be eliminated with the 3D import feature and automatic tool bending sequence features. You can have a remote secure access to the machine with the Windows 10 operating system. All the software of Sky 22 control unit is the product of Durmazar engineers. What that means is that we can provide service support to all our customers wherever they are in the world, in America or New Zealand. Our training topic today is ADS 2 meters 60 ton. First, let us turn the main switch on. Then, press the back cage reset button. After the screen of our machine is turned on, now it is time to receive references of our access. First, we press the emergency reset button and start the hydraulic motor. And then we start referencing by pressing the start button at the lower button panel. Our axes are referenced now and it is time to perform the hydraulic axis leakage test. We will press the foot switch and lower the upper table. When our machine is ready to operate, we can start bending by recording one of the programs in our memory. We can see each of the five steps we will take on our control unit one by one. We can also see the positions of the tools that we will use on the Sky 22 control unit screen. When we press the auto and start buttons to perform our bending, our machine gets ready to perform its first bending. With our Sky 22 control unit, we can also display the image of our machine on the screen or we can display only the tools and the part that will be bent on the screen. You can zoom in and out on the image using the zoom buttons or change the viewing angle on the screen.
We have two ways to prepare the banding, 2D and 3D programming. Let us start with 2D. First, we write the name of the program we will perform on the 2D programming page. Let's call it Durba. We select the upper punch that we will use later in banding. Then we determine our die and we select the second tool since the die we will use today in banding is 16 channel. We select our die holder. Then we select the type of our material. We will go with still ST42 today. Thickness is 1.2 mm. Banding length is 300 mm. After these steps, now we can start drawing. For the drawing process, it will be enough to select the banding corners on the screen. After completing our drawing, we can see the banding steps by pressing the profile button. Now it is time to select the tool. Our tools are on the screen. We confirm. And we press order for the automatic banding sequence calculation. We observe the banding steps by pressing the get order button. We see that the banding we have drawn is taking place without error. We can also change the gauge position to support the sheet if we want. For this, we can go to any step of the four-step program. We can change and record the position of the gauge like this in the last banding for example. And we can return to the banding numeric screen and check all access positions one by one. It will be enough to press the automatic operation button for banding. When we press the start button, the axes come to the banding position. To prepare a 3D drawing program, we first press the home button and select a new 3D program option. Our screen is ready for drawing. On the screen, we create the profile of the part we want to bend. Then we can give our values after checking the back cage distance and bending angles by pressing the overview button. If I am to change the back cage value and angle in the first bending, I can enter the distance value and angle by pressing it two times. Now we are back again and we want to implement this program on our machine. We will first view the opening first by pressing the tooling button. Then we make the punch and die selections. Our punch is tool number two. Then we select our die. And we select our tool holder. After all these processes, we confirm. After selecting our tools and holders, we get into the automatic bending sequence. We confirm. Our machine is ready for bending. We weave our tools, the sheet to be bent, and the back cage on the screen. We can weave the whole machine if we want. 
We can watch the simulation of the bending sequence on the screen. We can observe the bendings one by one by pressing the play button. If all processes are completed, we can get into the bending. For bending, we activate the automatic operation button on the bent numerical page and by pressing the start button, the axis come to the position we want. We confirm. Our machine is ready for bending. Now it is time to send the 3D drawing of the part we designed to the machine on a USB flash drive and to have the fully automatic bending process. We insert our USB flash drive into the machine. We select import part by pressing the home button on the control panel. Then we activate the D drive for USB flash drive on the screen. The name of the part that we will bend today is Durma Kaatlık. We select that. It asks us our material type. We select steel ST42 and start importing. After that, it is time to select the tools we will use on our machine. First, we select the punch we will use. The image of the punch appears on the left of the screen. We select our die. And then we view and confirm our die. Finally, we select the die holder. After we finish selecting the tools, we confirm. We activate the sequence button for bending sequence processes. Then, we activate the simulation screen by pressing the auto button. Now, the control unit of the machine shows us that we can use these tools for the bendings we want without any errors. We confirm. We display the bending sequence we made during the design with the manual order button on the machine. This five step bending is now on our screen. We confirm. We open the simulation screen and observe the bendings. With the play button, we quickly check the bending sequence from the screen. By pressing the exit button, the NC button, our machine becomes ready to perform the bending of the bending part we designed. After confirming that the tools on it are suitable, we press the automatic button to perform the bendings and activate hydraulic pump. When we press the start button, our axis come to the desired position. Now the operator will get into the bending of the program we designed on the machine. We will be able to easily monitor the bending steps on the control unit. We carry out the first step. Back cages have moved to the second position. The operator positions the sheet according to the tool position on the screen and performs the bending with the help of a foot switch. The operator continues the bending. The second to the last step is the fourth bending. We have bent 90 degrees so far and we will bend 135 degrees in the next step. As you can see, the operator turned the part upside down. It detected this with the help of the screen.
thanks to our 3D screen. The operator has completed the banding flawlessly. After completing our banding, now it is time to turn off the machine. We take our machine to the manual position button, press the full switch and we have our upper table lowered. The reason we do this is to ensure the raising distance of the upper table since all axes will take it as reference when we turn the machine on. We lowered the upper table until there was approximately 1 or 2 cm left to the die. Now we can turn off the machine. We click the hydraulic pump from the main menu button. We press the turn off button from the button panel at the bottom. We confirm it when it is ready for turning off. After our screen turns off, we can turn the main switch off. With Durmasky 22, you can raise your standards with 22 inch wide graphic display, 3D part loading feature, automatic tool selection and program preparation, comprehensive opening calculation, and 64 GB memory.